Pistola? No thanks. Bitch! How about I just... right there. Woo! Still with me, Stam? Still with me. Bitch! I was hoping that would be a bigger kaboom. Did he do it? Nope. I'm trying. I'm trying, Sully. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, uh, okay, this way. I got it. Get out of here, sir. Shut up my goddamn plane. <laughs> We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. Suppose it's a start. You think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the Gunsway Hall look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. Ah. Sully, I'm jealous of your butt chin. Can I have it, please? Product placement. Hey. Hey, Nate. Hi, honey. Oh, hi. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What do you mean? Well, you know, the news. There's been all that flooding. 
maybe going to Malaysia during the monsoon season wasn't such a good idea. Yeah, right. Right, yeah, it, uh, it grounded us for sure. You know, had some equipment failure, but you know, no one's hurt or anything. Well, as long as you guys are safe. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna need maybe another 10 days or so. Ugh, 10 days? Hey, well, I, why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. It's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well, you know, don't rush. Make sure that you're safe. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. Love you, too. She's worried. Kind of feels like something's not being told. I mean, she knows Nate. Madagascar. What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. <laughs> Lost the signal. Hey, you know what? Never loses signal. Paper. Ah. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. Right. Sweetness. So, Chapter ten. What are we looking for out here? Well, the, the twelve towers. These structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts. A handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers. Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. Oh, man. Fingers crossed. I'm actually going to dampen down the brightness again, because Madagascar is kind of a bright-ass place. Whoa! I like this section of the game. There's a lot of stuff. Nate's in his signature costume. Jeep! Actually, you know what? I actually want to... Oh, really? Nate? I didn't know it did that. I actually want to look at the journal. What else we've left out. To sigil, what is he doing in Scotland? For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. For those who prove false, behold your grim fate. What reaching into that thing felt like. <laughs> Brains, eyeballs, wet cat. Madagascar, Bibelina Mina, Lager Ale. I guess he kept a beer. Collects ferns. Why does he collect ferns? Um, tastes the same as back home. Real beef, my ass. Fast Burger. Oh, that's a receipt. Fast Burger has a Vang... Varanga bowl in Madagascar. Sully got it. Shredded beef on rice. Call Elena. Calling card pin. I guess he has a new pin. 17 minutes down, or 12 minutes down to 9 minutes. Oh, I can read that. Jeet rental receipt. Insurance none. Servicing fee. Um. Arubas? I have no idea what those are. 96,000. Additional driver, 64. Tax, 36. Additional winch, 192. Suspension package, none. After hours pickup, none. Total AR, 556,000. Primary driver, Victor Sullivan. Driver 2, Nathan Drake. Driver 3, Sam Drake. Coin rubbing, worthless coin. I'm worthless, my ass. Now we're into the the biggie part of the the whole level. Who made these cairns? Must be a trail mark. Let's keep an eye out for them. I mean, I just ruined it, so whoops. So we have to head towards that volcano. This is nice. This whole area looks amazing. Madagascar, all this red mud and clay. I see them too. 
one of the things I have to do. Because <laughs> I did it in Lost Legacy. Oh, I wasn't going fast enough. Let me go fast. You'll see what I'm doing, it's funny. Oh, damn it. <laughs> well, you guys got some whiplash, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to do it because it's funny. You'll see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm going fast enough. Nope. Oh, Victor. Damn it. Still do a lot of traveling these days. Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. Excuse me, boys. These nice little talks, I love it. I'm not gonna reach that. I can reach it this way though. These pants Nate are, Nate's wearing. What is this? Saw say wear tobacco box. Okay. Why'd you open that, Nate? I didn't tell you to open that. How do you? Not much to see here. Well. Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Just a tiny ass little trinket. I want to send Nate flying. Gotta get fast, do it. If it'll let me. Okay, I think I'm going fast. Let's go. Let's see. Here. Nope. Damn it. I want to fling him. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I'm trying to fling Nate out. That way, it's just bad. <laughs> Maybe this way? Nope, he's still not going fast enough. Damn it. I'm trying to fling him, make him ra flop around like a wet piece of baloney. Just because it's funny. Alrighty. Water. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest for my boy. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That is true. Uh, it tells me the handbrake. Okay. Oh, cool. What cool knickknacks you guys got hiding around here? That's a bridge. Come on, I want to fling Nate. Let me fling him. Yeah! There we go. I just want to fling him. Get him all wet. Wet t-shirt contest, boys. Let's go. I'm good. Let's go. I'm happy now. I did what I meant to do. So there's a couple of towers here that I'm trying that we're looking for. Twelve towers. I know there's something cool in here. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? Hey, you're the one that was talking about hot cocoa earlier. So Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, our first time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. I want to listen to this. Of course. Deal went bad and I got arrested. Ended up bribing the police chief. Again, of course. And in the process of negotiating the bribe, we, uh, we headed off. And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, hell, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved. Brazil. It's been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. <laughs> Him. Sully doesn't swing that way. A little bit dark in here. Thank you. 
I think this is just for treasure. But just to make sure, I'm still gonna get it. It actually wasn't like that. Are you sure, Sully? You were quite the womanizer and devilishly handsome man back in your day. It was a flintlock, eroded flintlock pistol. That probably killed a couple people back in the day. Sorry, boys. What I miss? All right, let's get moving. Onwards. That's the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. <laughs> Better make it a habit then, Sam. Let me know when I can open my eyes. Hey, you're fine. Walk it off. This is probably back the same way I came, which I can't go. Nope, I cannot go back. I know, it's a little bit rough, but then again, Sully, you did not get any suspension. So, do not get mad at me. Let's head this away. It's a rickety ass bridge. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, uh, this looks promising. Okay, this is come not going to go. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Ah, thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gut it before you hit the hill. I know, Sam. There we go. What's up here? That okay, way. Kid. Just don't drop us. Drop ya? Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! Gun it. We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what can I say, Sully? You're the one that made me the driver. Use the rocks as traction. There we go. Ah, God. Where's that tower? There's supposed to be a tower around here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. You'll be fine, Sully. Walk it off. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Shoreline. Lemurs. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Sweetness. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road, it might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use oh, shit? I got it. You were saying? You take this slow, kid. Yeah. Slow as can be. Sweet. Nathan, you're thinking Avery, two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because. Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in Clear. on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. That he did. That he did. You guys are fine. Alright, sweet. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape or something. Several hundred years old. Yeah, They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. Mm-hmm. Seriously, look at how tight Nate's pants are. My friend and I have actually had a discussion of what, what pants these are. I think we said something like duck skin, or uh, not duck skin, something duck padding. So, look, that's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains. To what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, 
This certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Nope. Hmm. Well, there is places to climb. Don't break. Yoink. Muggle Ivory Powder Flask. For reloading guns? Hmm. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Well, we do have to get the car up here. Sully can't really push it up. So I believe I have found a use for the winch, Sully. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Not sure yet. Did you know? Did you know? Yes, I most certainly did know. Round and around we go. Yo. I know to do it. All right. Sam, you're going to join us back in the car? No. Okay. My nose is itchy. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. And boom, shakalaka. See Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We clear the hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Well, Sully, you know what? You gotta gotta, gotta admire the smaller things in life sometimes. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Mmm. Wow. Spectacular. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Just imagine. You've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're going to pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Yeah, it could be Cuba. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry, bump. Big ass bump. 